Yo, what up? <laughs> Walking down my hallway here. You guys ever play this game with yourself where it's like, anybody who lives in an, an apartment or condo, you'll know like when you get home and you're like, oh, like they're cooking turkey and like, oh, they're having hot dogs or whatever, like you can smell. So right now I'm getting a heavy scent, a heavy whiff of Pizza Hut. Cause I mean, let's be honest, you know when it's the hut, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's making me crave, but I'm gonna lay off. I, I don't need it today. Um, mainly for one reason, and I will tell you that. My boy's dog is up there. <laughs> Dre! Yeah, that's Dre. What up, Dre? I haven't forgot about you, Dre. See what I did? I can't take credit for that, though. That's Brenna's joke. What up, Brenna? No Brenna out there, though. Alright, so, anyways. Back out on this patio. Oh, my God. Dude, today is so sick like what a beautiful day so you guys can see we got the we got the lounge all set up remember last time i was out here it was like fucking like uh, all trash dre but yeah it's like it's coming together man today is so nice like Today makes me appreciate life, to be honest. Look at this blue sky. I haven't seen a sky like this. And it's Monday, it's like quiet. So nice. Dre is so intrigued right now. Uh, okay, so let's have a little chat about what this is about. Okay, so for the first time in forever, like I found out about this shit years ago, uh, I'm gonna go for my first float tank session. Sensory deprivation float tank session. And I am so extremely jacked. I'm like so turbo hyped. It's ridiculous it's taking me this long. I don't know why I, it, why it has. It just like, I learned about this. Obviously like every other human being in the world, you learned about, if you've heard of this, uh, you learn about it through probably Joe Rogan, which is the way I learned about it. And this is like, years ago five years ago and I've just always been like okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it it's just one of those things in life where I just keep putting it off for what reason I don't know uh, mainly just because I was like oh do I want to drop 80 bucks on that and like why not like I drop 80 bucks doing some dumb shit like having drinks at a bar so it's like why not but yeah anyways I'm really hyped for it I uh, I just booked it we're going tonight at 8 p.m. it's now 4:30 and uh yeah i'm just gonna like kind of chill up until until then now what i was saying earlier about the pizza hut <laughs> and why i i a i don't need it mainly because i want to keep my vessel greaseless cheesy greaseless pepperoni less uh f to to be in line with my true chakra and have like a nice you know settled empty vessel so that i can you know nestle into the experience that is the sensory deprivation float tank uh, and and see if we we can uh, just keep it clean you know keep it alkaline keep it ready to receive any sort of consciousness messages or you know any spiritual awakenings that may flow through uh, during this process now they say in your first float you're not looking to blast off take off have really truly any breakthrough type shit you usually have to do a couple floats uh, I'm hoping on the first one I can I can see some weird stuff or, or get like some sort of a message now if you guys don't know basically what a sensory it sounds exactly what it is you're deprived of your senses so the tank is you're, you're floating in Epsom salt water uh, temperature to the same as your body and so it's almost trying to recreate like being in the womb so it's like you're kind of like floating in nothingness and you can't it's complete black complete darkness you're in this like egg and so you have nothing coming into the eyes the only thing you're hearing is your bodily functions which might trip me up for a bit because i'm a bit of a heart hypochondriac crazy guy like that but that's part of the process so you're you're just really focusing on your internals and then you're deprived of any sort of input otherwise. So what, what the thing is, is that's supposed to, basically you're suspended. It's like you're, you're weightless. So it's like, it, it, it's, it's apparently like an hour in there is almost like eight hours sleep. 
for your body, for your muscles, for everything, just to relax and chill and just take the stress of like gravity off your body. So I'm really excited for that, just to see like what the benefits of that are. And also, I just want to trip out, man. Like I, I want my, my mind to like, I want to like, you know, I want to start seeing some things or like go into some otherworldly like spiritual consciousness. I know it's probably not going to happen. Maybe I can get there in training, put up my hoods. I feel more comfortable with my hood, but you know what I mean? Maybe I can get there in a few floats. I'm really excited to see what it's all about. And this day, honestly, to like, like just having this day right now leading up to it, is making me feel so good because I was just it's a day off I was just laying in bed and I was like I was kind of just wallowing in like my own weird you know thoughts and head and self-pity and shit and like other like just confusion and life befuddlement and I was like you know what let me just book this let me document it today and let me do this thing that I've wanted to do for so long um, so yeah I mean Mainly the reason is I just feel like as of lately life has been like throwing me some weird weird curves uh, I just have a bunch of shit sandwiches after one after another and I just want to see if I can maybe gain some clarity or just at least find something that's like you know feels nice or is comforting or whatever or just can kind of help me on like a relaxing level uh, any of you guys might know, I don't know, some of you might know, some of you might not, but I, I have in the past and do still struggle with like, you know, existential crisis, anxiety, uh, basically health anxiety. I'm always hypochondria tripping about like I'm dying all the time. Uh, when, when in reality, I, 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 you know, nothing's really ever happened to me. So I just really have nothing to stress about too much, but getting sick, like I was in a good spot in my head and then getting sick, like getting that weird mono and like just feeling off and not really knowing what was truly wrong with me. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, but not truly knowing what was like really actually wrong with me for a bit there. And just kind of general, like that threw, threw me back into like a bad, loop like a bad cyclical like loop thought of and it just got me thinking into some old patterns and habits of just like micro analyzing every single thing and then just like you like I said I just you think you're dying all the time it's just not a cool place to be and, like, I I don't know maybe this will assist in that and also I just have to remember that everything's fine nothing's wrong I live my day-to-day -day life but the weird thing about your mind and anxiety is it's so powerful that wait for the train it's so powerful that you can when you think hard enough about something or like concentrate on it you can create real symptoms in your body like and if you like think start thinking oh i'm dizzy i'm passing it like it starts to feel like that's happening but it's not ever really a thing that's truly happening so Anyways, uh, I just want to call the place and actually see if they're chill with me kind of filming a bit. And there is no policy. It's a very zen location, so I don't know if cameras are like intrusive. So I'm gonna call them right now on speaker and then just see like if it's chill. All right, let's see. Let's see if they're chill with it. <laughs> They must be so zen out they can't answer the phone. You reach from Toronto. You can also book your float online at Float right. Toronto. No answer. You guys ever have to hold a vlog camera and a phone and then you use your nose to do stuff on your phone? Shout out to all those nose pokers on their phone. It's a handy tactic. A nose is your 11th finger. Just saying. Keep it in mind. It's happened many times in my life. All right, well, we'll never know. Uh, I think at this point then, because they didn't answer, it's kind of on them. Uh, I'm 
probably gonna have to be just intrusive. If filming's intrusive and I gotta be sneaky and shit, then that's the thing. But you know what, in 2019, I feel like, uh, you know, we're at a point where we businesses have realized exposure's good um, and, you know, I really don't see them having a problem with it. We live in a very documented world now. And uh, my only concern would be like them being like, it's a very spiritual facility, it's for chilling, and there's just some naked people around here. So like, you probably shouldn't. But um, I'm gonna, you know, not heed this thought and just go ahead and do what I need to do to make this video. All right, so I will see you guys uh, at 8 p.m. when I go. I'm gonna document the roll up. I'm gonna kind of just show the front and then maybe the check-in a little bit and then kind of the room once I'm in there. Um, I'm not gonna send nudes obviously, but uh, I'm gonna, you know, show the room a bit, show you the pod and whatnot. And then I'm going to immerse myself in the experience of being deprived of my senses and hope for a almost DMT-esque blast off and a spiritual guidance, shaman-esque experience. So uh, that's gonna be coming right up. And then after I will detail the experience. <laughs> See you later. What up? It's the evening time. We on our way. <laughs> Can't wait to get to it. I'll see you there. supposed to interrupt the moon before exiting the room back into the outside world where like all the bad parasitic hard energy is so I gotta be chill check out this fucking painting I see you you guys gotta check out this dude So sick. I think that's supposed to be the guy at the front desk. Is that what he looks like? Pretty sure it's him. This is very interesting. Maybe I should leave my leave my mark. I might I might leave my mark. He's the best. All right, I'm here, I'm booked, I'm in. I'm in the chamber, not in the chamber, but almost. Okay, so it's very chill. It's very, very chill. Uh, as you can see, there's a robe, but I don't have to use it, because why would I? We've got some earplugs and some soothing jelly. Don't know what that's for. But here's the, uh, oh, we're tripping. Here's the chamber. Right? But you, once you get in, you can turn the light off. Oh, right there. Oh, so I'm gonna be in complete darkness. Or I can have a light if I want, but I want dark. And then you have like a shower here that you can take before you go in. So that's interesting. This is the hall. 
hallway leading up to it. And then like a chill little washroom station. I'm just gonna go. I'm about to get rid of what's in my bladder before I go because I don't wanna have to pee while I'm in there. So I'll see you back in the tank. Wow. All right, so I'm in the room. I just got out of the tank and like, <laughs> what an experience. Like really, actually, holy shit. Uh, so much to elaborate on, I'm not gonna do it here, but <sighs> a lot of unexpected things, <laughs> really. Uh, mainly getting out is crazy. You literally feel like Like my body feels like, just because of the suspension, I feel like there should be a bed right here. Like I need to shower off and like get in a bed and just be, like be sleeping or like, I feel so like, the f I've never in my entire life and have never like since in being in a womb, I guess, I've never felt non-gravity really. And to feel that for an hour and your body coming back out into the world. I feel so heavy. <laughs> the intensity of like, and just my muscles, like not my mind, my mind isn't that relaxed. My mind is like, whatever, it just still is what it is. It's a little, it's more chill though. I feel like I could just go to sleep as you could probably tell on my face, but it's my body, my muscles, man, my muscles, like my body feels so, heavy because it's so my muscles for the first time in my whole entire life have had the opportunity to not have to do anything to not hold anything up that's crazy if you do if you i could see if you floated for like hours after i could see you needing like help to get out like you would collapse i literally feel so weak like i it's weird, like, because your muscles, they get, they get to relax, like, truly relax. That's the biggest, craziest thing of this so far, but uh, I'm going to get everything else in another part after I leave here because I don't want to be a ruckus asshole in this chill-ass establishment, so I'll see you soon.